Hi, I'm Jake from Northside Custom Crafts. Today I'm going to be changing my outfeed table. If you want to see what I do, stick around and I'll show you. So if you've been following us, you know that we're going to do the J Bates miter saw station, which means that we have to do a lot of sheet good cutting. And this setup here is not very safe because I have no support over here. So what I'm going to do today is get rid of this one. I have another table that I can cut up and, and figure out what I want to do. So I'm going to do that and then hopefully to be safe and we'll have support on both ends and we'll see how it works. So here we go. So I'm taking measurements of the table here and I'm going to line the center of the table up with the saw blade so we have an equal amount of support on each side of the blade. And I'm also taking measurements to see where we need to cut a hole in the table. So I set the depth of the blade on the circular saw so it barely goes past the material and you just start cutting. Now this cut that I'm doing right now is a plunge cut. If you're not comfortable doing it, you can just as easily use a jigsaw to complete that cut. Just a side note here as you're watching me move tables around my shop, this is the first time I've done voiceover work. So if you watched my videos before and know what you're used to seeing out of me, um, go ahead and give me some constructive criticism in the comments below and, and we're going to try to make this channel better. As soon as I got that to line up real well, I realized that I needed it closer to the table and I'd have to take some more material off, so here I am, tearing it up. I really could have started doing this with the flush trim bit, but I really just wanted to hit stuff with a hammer. Hey. Now I'm making a little test cut here to make sure this thing is square. Now one of the things I complain about this sliding table saw attachment is that I have to re-square it all the time. Well I come up with a way to re-square it. I made a jig on the CNC machine that makes it pretty easy to square. At the end of the video I'm going to put it on there and you'll be able to see how I re-square it. So I went ahead and took that little strip that I cut off and I wanted to see the difference between one end and the other and it ended up being within a thousandth of an inch so that's pretty good for what I do. So that was my project today. I think it'll make me a little bit safer. Keep in mind this is a temporary solution. Once I learn how to build the cabinets and after I do the miter saw station that'll probably be the next thing to make cabinet outfeed table for that. But if this is one of your first times seeing one of my videos, please do me a favor and subscribe. Keeps me motivated, keeps me ready to do stuff, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. You're excited and you're telling me this while the camera's rolling and we can all be excited together. What about that? <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you get a raise and get in trouble on the same day? Hi, I'm Jake, and today I'm going to be changing my outfit. Ah, I heard it.
First try didn't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, if you're not if you're not getting in trouble, you're not trying. <laughs>